What's going on all my man caveaholics? This video here we are going to uh, go over the Dale Earnhardt SS Intimidator body which is actually a truck now. Finished it last night. Yeah the wheel spacing is still just a hair off in the back but that's not a big issue seeing how I can correct that a little bit. I have the option of running straight links. Well, those are actually to a CR01. I have axial straight links. But what I chose to do is <clears throat> I found out after much work with this chassis right here that was specifically designed for the Intimidator SS body, I realized quickly that the body itself was made for an SCX-10 chassis. And the way I figured that out is it should have been a no-brainer, but I was so hell-bent on using this custom CNC uh, aluminum chassis, which I am going to use for an upcoming build, that I did not realize that this one was built specifically for an SCX. The dead giveaway obviously being the pinholes through the tonneau cover. And then underneath, he has taken and he has, yeah, you can't even see that. He's basically plastic welded uh, body posts to the, uh, the body itself. So they kind of self-center and they just stick in there giving you your front support. But we're going to de-shell this thing real quick because I do have some things to show you guys. So with the body off... What we're looking at is a standard SCX-10 chassis with the axial Wraith bent links for the lowers and just the standard uh, three link up top. The axle in the rear is clocked, the axle in the front is not clocked, that way my steering is not out of whack. For now I'm using stock SCX-10 shocks, but that will change, that will go up to probably another set of uh, power strokes from Proline. I took a piece of uh, hobby aluminum, which I'll show you guys, comes in uh, little sheets like this. Bought those from RPP Hobby. Took it, cut it, and then... Uh, the front factory uh, hole where your battery tray goes, I just drilled a hole and uh, sunk a screw into it, and bingo. There's my uh, electronics mount. This is a standard AE2, I think, I believe. Yes, it's an AE2 axial ESC with a two cell LiPo compatible, which I found out, which is awesome. Paired with that, and yes, I did have to put the battery in the rear due to the body. I have my uh, Venom 5000 milliamp 20C two cell lipo. Uh, paired with that is a modified AX10 SCX10 transmission, which I replaced all the steel gears, or replaced all the plastic gears inside this time with hot racing gears instead of Robinson Racing because. Hot Racing offered them in an entire gear package. I have my input gear, my idler, and my lower. The only difference between Robinson Racing and three or Hot Racing is Hot Racing just gives you the gear and you have to use the stock outputs or the heavy duty outputs. The Robinson Racing is a solid one piece lower gear. The only other difference too is the composition of metal. These are hardened black gears versus the more steel or aluminum looking Robinson racing gears. But enough of that. I've also done on this truck as well as Grand Cherokee over there. I did the uh, Gearhead RC SCX10 rear shock relocation kit. It does have the Intigy 35 turn uh, Matrix Pro lathe motor in it. Plenty of wheel speed, plenty of torque. For now I am running uh, standard shafts. I do plan on upgrading those. 
I'm using a Proline Western front bumper, which comes down just in front of it. I have a 1.9 RC four-wheel drive Flashpoint Russian-style military 1.9 tires mounted on Vanquish SSZ machined uh, beadlock rims. Three-piece, which these rims are very awesome. Uh, for the price, you can't beat them. Uh, right now, I'm using 600 hubs, but I did order a set of 225s, which will suck these wheels way in, which is what I wanted. Because right now, they do stick outside of the body completely, and that's going to, going to hurt it when I uh, try to go any, over any obstacles with it. But this will be more of a trail truck versus a crawler like the Jeep is. The Jeep I've already taken out and tested and that thing blew my mind. It is absolutely amazing. The Bulldog winch is awesome but I'm not gonna stray away from this particular vehicle. As far as RXTX combo I'm using my same Spectrum DX3C radio with an SR300 Sport Surface Receiver. trying to think of anything else. Uh, the only other thing that I did do is I had another SCX-10 axle laying around that did have the metal steering link so I attached those. I'm running a high-tech uh, HS625MG. I've never had any good luck with the 645s. They've always broken on me within the first run or two. But the 625s I've used, abused, thrashed and they still work. Uh, I think that is actually a Traxxas pinion gear. It's a 23 tooth pinion mated to the stock 87 tooth 48 pitch spur. Now if you notice on most of my vehicles I have the slipper tightened all the way down so there's no slip at all. It will not bind up. The motor temps stay fairly low on it. The only thing I had to do to accommodate this chassis is I had to lengthen the wires from the ESC. They were too short. The ESC was originally mounted right here at the edge of the plate, and when I'd put the body on it, the interior pan would hit the uh, speed controller, so I had to move it forward, hence the hack job on the wiring. But other than that, she's a very solid truck. I took her out last night. The truck does have lights. It has uh, two headlights. It's got strobing LEDs inside the interior, and one taillight. The other one's burned out, which is not a big deal. I might leave it burned out purposely, but once again, the interior has uh, Team 3-6 seats, uh, pretty much identical to the ones I have in uh, Pork Chop. As a matter of fact, I might have one of the uh, seats from Pork Chop sitting around here somewhere. Let me take it. Yeah, I do actually. This is my Team 36 seat for pork chop. And this is obviously just a solid black one. Same five point harness. Norm over at Team 36 makes these seats and it's an awesome job. We've got a same Sparco fire extinguisher except on pork chop. It's a uh, silver one and it's a NOS. This one's a Sparco and red one so. All in all, it came together very well. This one is going to be probably tested later tonight to see how it actually performs. I've only literally driven it around for about five minutes. But I will be doing a full uh, build thread with all the components used on uh, rccrawler.com. And that's pretty much it, guys. We got a killer looking body on a proven platform and we got a pretty awesome looking truck so there you go guys there's the uh, Dale Earnhardt Intimidator SS SCX-10 see you guys later